Hey guys, my name is Miska and welcome to Overwatch Central. So today I thought I'd talk about placement games, about Season 6, just how it differs from Season 5, and mainly because I actually want to gather opinion about what Season 6 has to offer so far and how the placement games went, what's changed, if it's better, if it's worse so far, or just what the experience is like overall. I also want to talk about some stats later into this video, essentially showing off what I found out through testing myself with friends, but also comparing lots of people placement results on Reddit, looking at what various players have gained and lost from last season in terms of their final SR, how it's changed and how the placement games have actually affected their overall SR. But I want to begin by talking about the actual changes in placement games compared to last season, how they feel and also to get some opinions from you guys about what you think so far. Anyway, the first thing that comes to mind here is the King of the Hill maps being best of 3 versus best of 5. This is the main thing that I've seen people talk about and what I wanted to bring up in this video. So a while ago we talked about how we felt best of 5 didn't quite feel fair in some ways, in the way that there was just no way to actually be able to play all three areas of each competitive King of the Hill map an equal amount of times. So you'd always have that one map that maybe one team was actually better at. Now in best of three you get to play all three areas if you make it into a 1-1 one -one tie into a 2-1 situation and I have to say I think it feels really good overall in terms of balance, in terms of length of the games. I've had some shorter games where I've lost 0-2 that I just wanted to sort of get over with and get past and I've also had some 2-0 wins that felt really good as well as of course the 1-1 one -one situations and in every case I feel like it's a lot better than before. I'd love to know what you guys think about this in particular as this is something that I feel strongly about. So yeah, please do comment below regarding that. But overall the feedback seems to be that best of three definitely is a better experience compared to best of five in competitive play. I'm very happy about this and I feel like the placement games just felt a lot better overall because of this as well. Moving on to the games more in particular though, it feels like there's a good mix of heroes across the board. There definitely is a sort of bias and a lean towards D.Va right now as she's still dominating. So I'm looking forward to the D.Va change is going live myself, just so the defense matrix just isn't as dominating as it is currently. This sort of goes into the whole playing Junkrat and D.Va on both teams, just because you have to have D.Va to deal with the Junkrat right now. I'm interested to see how that will change and if it'll get annoying when D.Va is nerfed that Junkrat will just have this overwhelming amount of damage. We're gonna have to wait and see for that one. But all in all, I feel like placements were better than last season. They're slightly quicker due to the King of the Hill changes. A fresh meta does feel good, but Mercy and D.Va changes is what'll decide the fate of the the rest of the season for sure. But let's head on to these stats that I'm sure you guys are interested in. They're sort of looking at how the average SR drop and gain through placement games compared to your last season's final SR. Now that's not your season high, your final SR from the last season. So what you had when you stopped playing or what you had right at the end. And personally for me, I believe I had four wins, a draw and five losses. And that ended up losing me only around 10 SR, I think, compared to where I sort of stopped playing last season. So really not that big of a difference there. I'd love to know your guys' record of play placement games. So in my case I would put 4-5-1 for 4 wins, 5 losses and 1 draw. What your final SR was from last season and what your SR is after calibrating in season 6. It seems to be a swing from about minus 100 to about plus 200, meaning that if you win 9 or 10 games you gain about 100 to 200 SR compared to your final SR last season. Obviously this is different for everyone to some degree, but that seems to be where the swing is roughly. There are always going to be some exceptions there, but that's still very interesting to me to see how that sort of scales. I guess that makes it kind of similar to last season's placement games but it does feel like there's a slight lean towards gain at least in my book and from what I've seen please let me know though what you guys have experienced there now there definitely are some big drops and some big rises here and I do want to give credit to you slash bnk1234 on r slash competitive overwatch who put together a nice post summarizing some of this and it's very similar to what I found out myself as well there's always been the whole discussion of dps gaining more sr than supports and all that stuff mercy players gaining a lot of sr and then not so much sr and just certain here is doing better than others in terms of all that. Now this is not just for placement games either, but just a season as a whole. And obviously this is an important topic in what is a currently performance-based SR system, as it's supposed to reward you with more SR if you did well in your games, versus if you just sort of piggybacked off a win and didn't do much. Now the general consensus seems to be that flexing just makes it a little bit more difficult to gain a lot of SR from your placement games. I think overall flexing is also difficult to do in competitive, but something that is very important to do to at least some degree. Personally, I feel like having two to three heroes that you play a lot is good, but then also being able to jump on Lucio or jump on Reinhardt if needed is a good skill to have. I'm gonna be focusing on two to three heroes myself this season, with of course a couple hero backups, but it seems that overall flexing, so having maybe four or five heroes instead that you play a lot, just isn't as rewarding as it kind of should be. That's a whole nother discussion in itself, and I could go on forever to talk about that, and we will do some more research into it to get you guys some better numbers and stats, and just an overall idea of what exactly is going on there. But yeah, that's the general 
general consensus that I found. Overall, it does seem that Mercy also doesn't have this crazy SR gain that she had around Season 4 and Season 5 start. It all seems a little bit more leveled like that. And I've seen a lot of Ana and Lucy players actually in the placement games do very well and have their 5-5 record actually give them more SR than some other people's 5-5 records. This is where you guys come in though, and I want you guys to comment down below, like I said earlier, giving your record for the placement games, your final SR from last season, so not your top SR and your top rank for last season, and what SR you calibrated at for this season, season 6. Either way, that pretty much sums up what I found out and how I feel about the placement games in season 6 so far. I'm enjoying it so far, some people have definitely not been, but hey, that's gonna be the case every ranked season I feel like. I'm looking forward to getting more into season 6 and just getting more playtime on the competitive ladder this time around, but I would also like to just underline that it does seem like flex players are kind of struggling a bit here. Alright, that is it for this video though, thank you very much for watching. If you commented below, then thank you so much, I really appreciate it, as this is something that I'm personally quite interested in. Do like the video if you enjoyed it, of course, and subscribe for more Overwatch content as per usual. Until next time though, have fun in Ranked, and hopefully you do well, but until that time, take care, and we'll see you then.